Today I'll show you how to set up a Windows server on KVM. First, we'll need to download the Fedora vid.io drivers for Windows. Just look for it on the internet. There is an archive with lots of different versions. Have a look at the release date column. Click on the most recent one and download the vid.io-win.iso file. Once that is done, make sure you have the QEMU guest agent installed. Let's open the virtual machine manager, create a new virtual machine, leave the option as local install media and click the browse button followed by browse local. Navigate to the location of your Windows server ISO, which in my case is the downloads folder. Select the ISO and click forward. Next, configure the CPU and memory settings and hard drive size according to your preferences. Assign a name to your virtual machine and click Customize Configuration before install. Then finish. On the upper left hand side, click CPUs and open the topology menu. Set it to one socket and the desired number of cores. Then click apply in the bottom right corner. Moving on, click SATA disk 1 and choose VDIO for the disk bus. Apply the change. Repeat the process for the network interface card, selecting VDIO again. In the bottom left corner, click add hardware, then select or create custom storage and manage. Browse to the VDIO ISO file we downloaded from the Fedora website and click Open. Set the device type to CD-ROM device and click Finish. Now click Begin installation in the top left corner of the window. Select your desired language settings and click Install now in the next window. Click on the Windows Server Edition that you want to install. After accepting the license agreement, select Custom. Click the Load Driver button, then Browse in the new window. Select the CD-ROM device containing the VDIO drivers. Scroll down to the last folder and open it. Locate the folder matching your Windows Server version, 2K22 for Windows Server. 2022 and click MD64. Confirm that. The driver will become available. Click on Next. The configured hard disk appears. Click on the Install button. Once the installation is complete, configure the password for your Windows Server. Send the Control Alt Delete keyboard shortcut using the QEMU utility to open the login window. After we are logged in, open up the CD-ROM drive again. This time, double-click the vid.io x64exe. Confirm all the prompts from the installer. The network interface card comes online due to the driver that is being installed by the installer. After the installation is finished, double click on the guest tools file and install that as well. To have the Windows server resize its resolution to flush with the QEMU window, we need to spice guest tools. Open up the web browser. Just look for Spice Tools Windows and click on the spicebase.org website. Scroll down to the Windows binaries and click on the Spice Guest Tools, which is highlighted in blue. After it is downloaded, go ahead and install it.
click install on the prompt that appears. On the top left side of the QMU window, click on View, Scale Display and on Auto Resize VMware window. The resolution of the Windows Server desktop will match the QMU window now. Have a nice day. Bye.